Hey, we got some sunshine going for us here. Taking that live look over Greenville Boulevard this afternoon. We are on the edge of that clearing line moving from northwest to southeast across the area. And if you haven't seen that sunshine develop just yet, hold on. We're getting the clouds and showers out of here as that drier air is moving in on those northwesterly winds. Even before sunset, Ocracoke should see that sunshine return for us here as they were clearing those skies out. Winds are sitting at 55. Same thing in Eaton, Washington, 55, still holding 50 in Jacksonville and Havelock with a little bit of that thicker cloud cover for us here. Northwesterly winds is starting to kick in and that's what's helping to bring that drier air in. Now we did have those northeasterly winds and that's what kept most of the inland spots dry as we went through the overnight hours here. The exception was Duplin County and our southern areas. But again, those showers have now pretty much since moved away and we'll see those temperatures get into the mid to upper 50s as we head on in through the day today. Maybe a 60 degree reading here or there headed out for dinner this evening or taking the dog for a walk, whatever those temperatures will quickly be dropping with those clear skies into the 40s and will be into the 30s by the time we start off tomorrow morning. So there's that clearing line. Let's go to the Crystal Coast. Why not? Not going to be the greatest day there today, but you'll definitely see by sunset that clearing line starting to move across the area here. We're going to be seeing clear skies. Mild temperatures in store for us tomorrow. Uh, high pressure across the Gulf Coast will be giving us sunny skies and warm temperatures. But late tomorrow evening, a dry cold front slips through. And Friday will still continue with the sunshine, but it's going to be definitely much colder for us here as we do head on in through the end of the week. Now, this is what I was thinking earlier in the week would be our next weather maker. It's a low pressure coming in across uh, the West Coast. And, well, it's a time of the year I need to judge where it enters the West Coast and then track it practically straight across the country. This one coming in fairly far south. And that's why I think on Saturday is going to be a lot like what we saw yesterday. We'll get a lot of high, thin, cirrus clouds, giving us that milky appearance to the sky. But I think most of the rainfall will stay to the south of us. There's that dry front coming in here late tomorrow night into the early morning hours on Friday, and then that cold Canadian high pressure will dominate our weather going into the weekend. Again, you can kind of see the models picking up on those high clouds coming our way as that low pressure exits pretty far south across the Gulf of Mexico. So this may be our driest stretch of weather we've seen for about the last six to nine months with lots of sunshine in here and warm temperatures as we head on into the middle part of next week.